The Fourth Horseman is a reprised exotic energy shotgun obtained from owning the Season Pass and speaking to Zavala for the quest. Datto has a good guide on completing this, which is linked in the description, but if you know how to read, you can probably figure out how to do this quest, since it's just basic stuff like public events and patrols. Fourth Horseman's intrinsic perk, Thunderer, causes the weapon to fire significantly faster and at full auto. The second perk, Broadside, causes each successive shot to increase its damage and pellet spread. The rate of fire is indeed the fastest in the game by a considerable margin on a shotgun. If you remember the rapid frame shotguns and how fast they fired before they were nerfed, well, Fourth Horseman fires even faster than those in their golden age. Blink, and you're going to miss the entire four round magazine being fired. Some stuff about the broadside perk, you only get the damage increase when you are firing the weapon full auto. You cannot tap fire this gun and still get the damage bump. You do not have to actually hit your target though for the damage to ramp up, so you aren't penalized for missing some of the shots for whatever reason. Aztec Cross has a great breakdown on the damage numbers related to the broadside perk, so I'm also going to link that in the description if you want something a little bit more technical. The TLDR of it is that the damage increases about 20% per shot. Some other stuff of note, I haven't gotten the catalyst yet, so the footage and everything in this video is going to be based on the standard weapon. You can get the catalyst from clearing Seraph Tower events, bunkers, or legendary lost sectors. It will add another shot to the magazine and greatly increase the reload speed. It is very much worth getting if you enjoy using this weapon. So, go get it if you want it for now. For me, I'll just wait until the last week of the season to grind for it, because lord knows I'll be running all these seasonal events a bunch over the course of the season, and I'll probably just get it that way. Alright, let's get into this weapon in, uh, PvP. I'm gonna keep this brief. This is not the shotgun you're looking for in PvP. At least, not if you're into the hand cannon plus shotgun, super hardcore, sweaty PvP play style. This gun is anything but consistent, which is what you really want if you're trying to find a good PvP shotgun. It uses up so much ammo that you need to run double shotgun scavenger just to feed its voracious appetite. You have to get in pretty close as well for it to guarantee a kill, and chances are other skilled shotgun players are just going to one-tap you with whatever well-rolled legendary they are using. That being said, um... I, I kind of like this shotgun in PvP. I, I'm not that good with shotguns, and so the fact that this just takes all the guesswork out of shotgunning to me is hilarious. I just get in kind of close and then spray down until I'm out of ammo. Fortunately, if you get the kill, you can gobble up some more special ammo and keep that ball rolling. In some cases, I was able to just treat a pack of people like the broadside of a barn and opened up on them. What this weapon lacks in consistency, logic, and reason, it makes up for in complete randomness and hilarity. Lord of Wolves is absolutely going to destroy this gun in any real standoff, but I'll personally pick Fourth Horseman any day of the week since it's just, it's, it's funny. The, and that matters to me more than being optimal. Now in PvE, that is where Fourth Horseman can actually shine. The broadside perk really puts out some insane numbers, especially when you add the extra shot from the catalyst into the mix. Most elites will die in one or two magazines, and having multiple people using this will mean most bosses die extremely quickly. This is definitely one of those weapons that can just obliterate champions when used in parallel with divinity. Now getting in close to said champions, well, I'll leave that up to you to figure out how to do. But suffice to say, if you can coordinate getting close enough to hit the majority of your pellets in a burst, then you're in for a very short fight. So damage is obviously a big plus on the weapon. It's, it's, it's not a surprise. It does exactly what it's supposed to do very well there. However, all that kind of comes at a cost. You will pretty much spend more time reloading this weapon than you will firing it. It takes about 4 seconds to reload this weapon without any mods, so if you plan on using this, you better spec hard into some reload cheeses. Enhanced shotgun loader, Luna faction boots, titan barricades, whatever you have that you can reasonably increase that reload speed for the shotgun, do it. The other big thing to worry about is the recoil. Fourth Horseman has some very jumpy recoil that will take some practice getting used to. Fortunately, it's entirely vertical, so controller users can just hold down on the stick and be good to go. Mouse and keyboard, on the other hand, well, I hope your mouse pad's large enough. The last thing to really worry about here is ammo. You will churn through ammo like nothing else. Since every time you're firing this weapon, you are spending four shots minimum. You will need to spec into shotgun reserves and a shotgun scavenger to make sure you are getting the ammo that you need for some of the longer fights where you're expected to kill multiple big things.
I think one of the funny things about this gun in PvE is that it just does so much damage that the game kind of can't keep up with all the various systems that are going on. You see health bars, rubber band back up quite a bit once you finish firing. If you have the extra shot from the catalyst, numbers are just going to stop showing up for you since each pellet's damage is shown on the screen and the UI just can't show that much. It works into the flavor of the weapon in my opinion since it feels like you're just going full throttle and you don't really care where the shots just end up. You know, just just send it. Roll with it. See what whatever happens. Make health bars disappear. So despite how well this weapon performs, I actually don't like it in PvE. It's just it's so much of the same that we have already. High burst damage special weapons are ubiquitous in the Destiny world. Getting another one that does pretty similar damage to all the other ones, but in a shorter amount of time, at a shorter range. Lord of Wolves, Bastion, Merciless. There's an infinite amount of these things, it feels like, and all of them basically fill the same role. Do a bunch of damage in a short amount of time with some quirks like uh, how far away in range you can do that in. Fourth Horseman does this in a way that it's fun to mess around with, but at the end of the day, I feel like I've just had the same burger and fries combo I've always gotten at a burger place, and this time I spice it up by putting an egg on my burger instead of guacamole. And that about does it for this review. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, a positive rating would be appreciated. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.